On the fourth day of Christmas, Jossa Kid drew for me a Beanie Boo candy cane mouse. So let's get started. With this candy cane mouse, we're going to first start by drawing his head. So by right here, we're going to be drawing a big wide U. So right here, I'm going to start and draw a curve that comes down. All the way around. Let's go to the other side because it's a big head. I'm just going to break it up into steps. So come over about right there and we're going to draw, try to draw the same thing on the other side and end about the same spot. And now we're going to connect it with a big wide curve. And come down here and connect it. And up here, we're going to draw the top of his head. So just continue this curve, but we're going to taper it in. So go in. And do the same thing with the other side. Go in. So about right. Come over about right here. And taper it in. And now we can connect it with a curve. So if you're doing it at home, just move your paper around so you feel more comfortable drawing your curves. Because I'm doing showing this to you, I don't want to be moving my paper around, so I have to move my hand around. <laughs> so we've got this nice big head for our little mouse. So always remember it's really wide right here and tapers in narrow right there. And so now we can go and draw his little ears. So on both sides, we're just going to draw a big kind of an oval, but right here. another one so you can come over and just give yourself some points so you know kind of where to go so about right there curve it over just like you did on the other side another big oval and then go inside and draw the inner ear so I'm just gonna make this part right here a little bit thicker so I'm gonna come out more and then go in closer like that. So I see how this part is thicker and this part is thinner. So let's do the same thing on the other side. So come out here, go around, make it thinner towards the bottom and curve it back in. So now we can bring a little mouse to life. So we're going to find the center about towards the bottom and give him his little nose. So right here we're just going to draw a curve in the center for his little nose and we're going to connect it with a V. And I'm going to soften, I'm going to round it off right here. So round it off and find the center and connect it. So that's the shape that you're going for. And so now we can draw his huge eyes on both sides. So now because you drew the nose, you can make sure that your nose is in the center and your eyes are on both sides. So right here, I'm going to try to draw a huge circle. And another one. Not so easy when you gotta draw these big circles. Try to draw a big circle. Ah, <laughs> there. And now um, draw so cute eyes, of course. So two small circles inside for highlights and a curved line at the bottom. So these eyes are gonna take some time to shade because they're huge. And that's kind of what makes Beanie Boo, um, these uh, stuffed animals, pretty special because they have these huge eyes and the colors that they have for the eyes are really pretty. So I couldn't resist drawing this candy cane mouse for you. Well, the Thai website that it's made from says it's a mouse, but then when I check other places, they say it's a hamster. So. I don't know, is it a hamster or a mouse? But I guess it's kind of the same thing, right? <laughs> so I'm gonna call mine a mouse. So two small circles and a curve at the bottom. Make it a little bit lower. Ah, there, and shade in the top. So this guy's name is Candy Cane, of course, because he's holding a candy cane. And I had to draw him because 
I hope you've seen my first um, first uh, Christmas special, first draw so. Um, oh, sorry. Don't know what I'm saying anymore. <laughs> I hope you saw my Beanie Boo Penguin is what I mean. And so when I started researching the Beanie Boo Penguin, I found this little guy and I had to draw him because he was just perfect for uh, Christmas too. And guess what? His birthday is December 4th. So that's why I'm drawing him today. <laughs> and so right here, just gonna give two little curves right here for, on top of his eye. And let's go in and draw his little mouth. So right here, I'm going to draw a straight line down at this point, come down a little bit, and I'm going to cap it off with a little curve, goes like that. And just cap it off on both sides, with a little mouth. And then here's the part where you're going to draw to separate the bottom part from the top for his head. So we're going to draw a little curve right here on top. top of his nose and then here we're gonna curve it around kind of like under his eye almost just curve it around so same thing over here like that and if you wanted you could give him little whiskers this is all optional but some little details some very small little whiskers and on the other side so doing it very thinly I don't want it too thick for a little mouse. <laughs> and so now, because he's holding a candy cane, an easier way to do it is let's draw these two curves right here for his um, arms. So I'm going to curve it right here so that we know the head's in the center. So draw the two curves. And now we're going to draw a candy cane. So about right here, we're going to have this candy cane hit the top right here. I mean the bottom of his uh, face right here. So come about right here. So you're gonna draw a candy cane that curves around. Ah, come down. This part's a little tricky, but you're just gonna play around with it. So you're gonna draw around and you come back here. Just follow the same line. Go up and Make sure it's kind of the same all the way around and bring a curve down and around. So you basically just kind of drew a hook and just bring it around here. Like that. And so now we got this handy cane hidden, now we can draw his hand. So his body is right here, so we're just going to bring down this curve a little bit more. and. Right here, I'm going to draw some zigzags for the side of his body. So come out a little bit. Just give him a little curve and zigzag it right here. And right here, this hand, we're going to bring it around because he's holding the candy cane. So bring it around and touch the side of the candy cane. And so for right here, you can imagine this line going through the candy cane, coming around. And so his hand is just right here, very simple. I'm just gonna draw his little paw. One, two, three. So I'll just erase that and um, that line right there. And so on this other hand is a curve. Another curve right here. Where this where you put it, um, the line went down right here. Draw another curve. And right here, we're going to draw his fingers. One, two, three. So of course, if you're using a pencil, just erase that. So I'm just going to connect it like that. So I'm going to erase that when I color it so you can see a lot better. And so with this candy cane, just give it some details. So just some curves that follow this angle. So curve. And keep going. And for the top right here, just curve this one down. And follow another one. Out right here. Like that. So then right here, 
We're going to go to the other side and draw the other side right here. So zigzags for the other side of his body. And so the zigzags is just to make it look like he's really furry. And then we're just going to bring it around. So make him really chubby because that's what makes him cute. <laughs> so do the other side, bring it around and connect. And so then we can draw his little feet. So his feet's very simple. Just come to the center. So kind of know where your center is and then you're going to draw your feet that go around. Just a little curve that goes like that. Very simple. And so same thing other side, a curve and bring it in. And so for some details on his body right here for the fur, just draw a curve and we're going to do that. Just imagine this going through and we're just basically drawing a U. Then towards the bottom, so other side and connect it. So there, our little mouse holding his candy cane. And so I thought it'd be really cute, <clears throat> excuse me, if we drew him a little present right next to him. So right here, I'm going to draw um, a little bow. So curve, like two teardrops stuck together. And then I'm going to draw a line and bring it back in. So top here, line, angle line bring it back in and then come down with a curve, another curve and connect it. So same thing here, curve and connect it. And so right here I'm just going to draw a straight line that goes, oops, goes through. This one's a little bit too high but that's okay, I'll fix it. So then bring it down at an angle both sides and connect it. And for some details, you can just draw another line right here. So that way you can uh, color it different colors and make it much nicer. <laughs> and so let's just give him a ground to stand on so that completes our drawing in the back right here. Like that. There, my Beanie Boo Candy Cane Mouse or Hamster. Hope you like this uh, fourth day of Christmas drawing from Draw So Cute. Thanks so much for watching and uh, please subscribe to get updates or more Draw So Cute videos. 